Okay, so today we are basically going all the way around Santa Barbara and checking out parks and stuff because we are broke. And so we're taking the beautiful transit system all around, which by the way, I gotta say, you got one heck of a transit system. You got buses leaving every 10, 15 minutes and they go literally like everywhere. And they go through actual neighborhoods. So talk about efficiency. I've never seen a transit system so effective. making great life decisions. Of course, I'm awesome at timing things, so I uh, set bus stop, Googled it, and found out the bus was come 30 minutes. Which, to be fair, this is not a very demanding route we're on, and we're now walking in the road. So Ryan, you should probably get a little closer to the curb. But we're, uh, we're walking in the road now, slightly, kind of, maybe toward, yeah. And uh, we're heading out to the beach. It is finally starting to get sunny. Okay, so this is the part of the adventure where we head over to Isla Vista slash Kalita. Isla Vista is a little township that's kind of part of Santa Barbara where all the college kids live. And it is absolutely gorgeous beyond belief. And I'm not going to lie to you, there were a lot of fun moments out there in Isla Vista. So it's going to bring back some memories. And let me tell you, it was one of those places I've never seen that are so walkable slash bikeable. They have entire streets just dedicated to pedestrians biking and uh, riding their skateboards. So it'll be one heck of a place to visit again. Uh, change of plans, the bus was actually uh, like five, six minutes late. So I didn't know if it was running because it's, you know, it's like 1.20, one, something like that, like 1.30 right now. <clears throat> and usually in most cities, public transportation is just like dead, not running. So I didn't know if it was like the wrong schedule or anything because usually um, most buses, I don't know. It's like, it's complicated because it's not like an actual it's not a station, it's just an actual stop, and it only stops if somebody pulls down, unlike some of the stops in other cities. So, <clears throat> basically right now, I just said, to heck with it, we're walking, so we're gonna walk the full magical, well, 20 minutes until we get to the next stop that's nearby the time it stops. So, yeah, we'll see, I have no clue if I'll actually get there. <laughs> One of the great benefits of uh, living in a tropical island like Okinawa for many years. We used to do this all the time, climb up hills that are rocky, sandy, and dangerous. And ironically, <laughs> and ironically, that's for people's yards. Damn, he caught up. I can't make fun of him anymore. I'm thinking that might have been a smart move. Uh, we just cut through the uh, area to don't do that, but I just was like, yeah. But it cut a trip in half. It said 13 minutes down to six minutes. And it's a good thing too because it's 151. We're about five minutes away. And the bus leaves at 158. So it might have been a smart projection on my part. Ooh, look, lemon trees or oranges. 
I don't know, I didn't pay attention. But we're on our way, we're, we're gonna go meet Kyle. He's my buddy from the campaign, so he's the one that originally uh, asked me to come out here about a year ago, so, you know, I did it, I helped out the campaign for three weeks out here, and then went back up, then went to school in uh, Kansas City. Now I'm here, again, for a week, or a few days. It's really fun, look at him, he's, he's lagging behind, oh my goodness. Alright, so we're walking now. Hopefully that's the last time I miss a stupid bus and have to walk a mile to get to the next station, so problem solved. Looking up a word. Epistolary. Obtained and carried on by letters. You can say an epistolary friendship. Can you use it in a sentence? Maybe I'll do the exact same one you're expecting. Me and my pen pal had an epistolary friendship. That doesn't help at all, honestly. Were you pissed at him? Were you happy with him? It's an adjective. I got, yeah? <laughs> It's an adjective used to describe something that has to do with letters. Okay, let's sing. So there's about 1,700 pages. How many words do you think per page? 50. So bitch is actually, is actually counting them. He's actually counting them. Which is a magical, ultra fantastic Head into... Head to the beach. It's nice and hot in the car right now. Are those all parking yeah, tickets that you got up there? Parking permit. Holy crap. Dude, why don't you just get a pass? Uh, it's super. No freaking way. A dollar, most of these are just a dollar for 20, 30 minutes. Would you put them in? SpongeBob SquarePants. There's the bagel cafe, man. We used to get bagels there every freaking morning. You see where it says IB is a city? Okay. Right there, that's where we used to have the office. Yeah. So Jay still own that uh, apartment? Yeah. Yeah, he wants, he thinks of like, they think of like IB as a city because right now it's like a township of Santa Barbara, so. No, it's unincorporated. Yeah, well, well, I call that a township. It may not be official, but in my mind, a township is a city that's not officially a city. Well, no, like a city's supposed to be big. No, it's like a, no, it doesn't. A city's just an actual like. You ever like seen a sign that says "city of whatever"? I've seen "city of this population 100." <laughs> Shit, I've seen "city of the town of." To make it a little government. Well, the goal is like at least for the. Montana, holy shit. <laughs> Goals for what? Making a forest. Oh, I'm gonna sing Alright, so, played volleyball for an hour with some people in California. Kyle took us out, played some volleyball, got my ass creamed, but I did decent. It was like 1621, but real quick, we're gonna take it. We're about to run, he's about to yell at me. He's gotta go downtown, we gotta go to Wendy's. But, see, ocean. Santa Barbara is just gorgeous. And then there's, you know, Platform Holly. That's the most beautiful part. <laughs> this is everybody we played with. Say cheese. <laughs>